Up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. I believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of JK. trouble. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing folks, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Brock Lesnar! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Monster! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? All right, so here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting they're going to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position, so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase the vicious. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Battling for hooks. Right hand punch the clinch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. And both guys really throwing with authority. So one beautiful level change leads to the takedown. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Look at the control of the posture as he lands that deep. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. You gotta be careful, Armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Wow. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top. He needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that deep group, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. 
Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Big punch lands. Ooh. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Continues to work out of that tie clinch. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Battle for position here. Blocks the shot. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Great punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Back and forth we go! Oh, crippling uppercut. Lands another punch to the head. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shin guard, he's taking it off. Take it down, cut him. Take it down, cut him. Over and over, he secured these takedowns. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Final minute. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's attacking armbar now. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch is a clinch. Oh, now going with the judo throw. He ends up... Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the schools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and often. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Good jab. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice punch, Lynn. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, straight right. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Great punch landed with so much power. And he landed the right hand there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Got the single collar tie. Boy, Ty Plump. Lunges forward with a left there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. 
What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, now going for the takedown. He went right into the single leg, used the power of his legs to lift him and slam him to the ground. Unable to connect it. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. What a punch. Single collar tie now. Look at him whip his hip into that kid. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much. Perhaps just looking to recover. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Blocking his head, making sure. Wow! No! Beautiful diving strike. Big shot, man. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! <laughs> just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by knockout. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.